Hey, Elise. Hey, SB. We're going to be playing a board game today. And okay. we've, uh, we need another person. So we recruited a guy we found on the internet. That's weird. Hi. That was, yeah, that was a cue. <laughs> you were supposed to, okay. Good. You sound so scared. <laughs> so, I just, when can I leave? <laughs> we'll take, listen, we'll take the shackles off when it's time. This oh is our friend God. Shane. Uh, we're going to be playing today a board game that is not actually out yet. Uh, this game is called Root, a game of woodland might and right. It has uh, it has very cute art, but it is in fact an incredibly violent game. Yep, it's cute. It's a cute war game. It's a dudes yeah. on a map style, you know, cute war game uh, designed by Cole Verrill. Ver- Verrill? I should have looked up how his name's pronounced. And published by Leader Games, and they're currently having uh, their Kickstarter. Their Kickstarter is on right now, right this second, for six more days. So if in the course of watching this video you are overcome by a need, a desperate desire deep in your heart for this game uh go give them dollars on kickstarter because this game is cool it's pretty cool thank you i was looking i was looking for a little backup there and yeah this game's <laughs> awesome hi I'm, I'm on a 10 second delay i guess it took me a really long time to figure out how to say this game's cool that's okay it's, we got time i've only played half a game but it's pretty cool that's my <laughs> you can put that on the box if you want <laughs> I've only played half a game, but it's pretty cool. Four yeah, out of five you, stars. Yeah. yeah, if you want to put that on the Kickstarter page, because uh, obviously they're going to watch this video, yeah, feel free. Yeah. Out. Sign it. Just put the, the, the dash Shane, the coolest guy. Shane, comma, the coolest guy. Yeah, thanks. At, at some point, we are going to play the game. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do, Okay, let's make it now. So, this is a... Uh, we're playing... Three of the four factions in the game, like Vast, if, you, if you've never played Vast, the thing that was most noteworthy about Vast is that it's completely asymmetrical. Every player in the game has a different goal, is doing completely different stuff, and there's a lot of potential for direct interference. The players have to do stuff to each other to keep each other from winning a lot, but it's not like they're racing to a single goal. Mm-hmm. Root is a little bit less asymmetrical. We will t- we will be taking a lot of the same kinds of actions, but it is still the case that we're all sort of doing our own different things and we have to interfere with each other. Is my pointer bothering you? <laughs> what? What is going on? Nothing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be doing different things to earn our VPs, but we will all be racing to the goal of 40 victory points. Whoever gets to 40 victory points first wins. Me. Uh, so... Hmm? Me. You? It's going to be you? Yep. Actually, I think there's a pretty good chance of that. So Shane is playing the Marquise de Cat. Marquise, I'm pretty sure, right? Yes. Because it's the one yes. with the E at the end? Marquise. I'm playing them, so yes. Yeah, that's okay. how it's pronounced. Shane, Shane has determined he is the Marquise de Cat. Uh, the cats have recently taken over the woodland through force, violence, Everyone and, likes blood, us too. and bloodshed. And everybody loves them for it, and there is yeah. certainly... No unrest. Uh, so the job of the cat is to build up the woodland and make it powerful. I don't know. Full of cats. How powerful and full of cats. So the primary way that the cat earns victory points is by building. Um, you can see here the sort of the build menu for the cats. Each turn has three phases, birdsong, daylight, and evening. During birdsong, the first phase, you can see the cat here has a sawmill. Each sawmill will produce a wood, and then the cat can spend wood, according to this chart, to build various buildings. So buildings in this uh, in this column cost one wood, in this column cost two, and every time the cat builds buildings, he'll reveal victory points, he'll score victory points for the buildings. Uh, the cat gets three actions per turn, and then after taking their three actions during the daylight phase, they move into their evening, during which all players draw cards. Uh, according to each player's individual income. And then we'll move on to the bird's turn. And we'll, of course, as usual, uh, explain things as they come up. We're first going to play through this cat turn. But actually, first, we're going to deal out everybody's starting hand, because everybody's supposed to have three cards right now. Thank you. Okay, so, Shane, uh, we're actually not done with setup yet. There are a couple of decisions to make during setup. So the first thing is, you can see, the cats have started with a cat figure in each clearing. Uh, They start with a sawmill in the keep, and then uh, Shane will place a workshop and a recruiter in clearings adjacent to the keep, but they can't both go in the same clearing. 
So where are you going to place your starting buildings? Yeah, so I think I liked my idea of last time where I'm just going to kind of keep them close because it's hard to protect things if they're far away. Mm. So so that, that that seems fine to me. Okay. So the, uh, the, the workshops, or rather the sawmills, produce wood. The workshops are used for crafting, which we will explain the first time somebody crafts. And the recruiters are used to make more warriors. Every turn, uh, he has a recruit action available that will just cause each of his recruiters to spit out an extra cat warrior. And here he has a bag of infinite cat warriors. Because that's how many cats there are in the world. Ugh. Is that a sound of disgust? Yeah. Okay. So, Maybe. Shane, why don't we uh, go ahead and start your turn? So, first, bird song. Yeah. Each, so, of, your, each of your sawmills produces a wood. I get some wood. All right, comment down. It's fa- family friendly stream over here. <laughs> no, it's no. Is it? Now it's daylight. So, you have three yeah. actions. Uh, as you can see from my hand here at the bottom of the screen, we have these cards. Each card is suited. At the top left, you can see the suit. The suits are foxes, rabbits, mice, and birds. In addition to the cat's three actions, they can get uh, additional actions by discarding bird cards at a rate of one action per card. So, Shane, with your three actions, uh, what are you going to do here? So, I think I want to build, um, and I think I want to build a sawmill. Okay. Because we want to get more wood so that we can start expanding more. You have, uh, you have removed your initial <laughs> sawmill from the map. Yeah, I don't need it anymore. It has fulfilled its, its purpose. It's playing in hard <laughs> mode. Um, okay, and you get two victory points? Yep, and then I'm going to... Uh, I think I'm actually going to spend time moving people back. Because I, I want my dudes to protect my stuff. Yeah. I think that's a, a logical conclusion. Okay, so he's taking the move twice action. You get to pick up as many of your dudes as you want from one clearing and move them to an adjacent clearing. So he moved all of the cats from here to here and then all of the cats from here to here. And then we'll do like this as well. All right, and then he moves twice again. Uh, What a display of cowardice. Hey, wait. (laughs) I'm trying to centralize my power. Maybe we should like finish setting up the game. I totally forgot. We just started the game. I didn't set up my figures. So the, yeah, uh, yeah I, was, little... I was a little confused for a second. <laughs> Feel free he's to like, call well, me out. If I, SB if knows I do what something he's doing, and it doesn't make so... any sense, like, uh, you know, say something. Well, you know, I'm also I'm... pretty new to the game. I don't know, dude. It's cool to, like, make me take my actions before, like, the whole board stays. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, good, it's good for me to have the extra information, right? <laughs> <laughs> so during setup, the, the Woodland Alliance sets up a hideout, uh, a hideout of a suit in a village that is of the same suit. Each of the clearings is suited. Uh, rabbits have yellow tree clearings, foxes have red tree clearings, and mice have orange tree clearings. I think they're both orange. And then, okay, but they, I can't say one orange. is more orange. This is than definitely the other. a redder orange. Would you stop being different? <laughs> All right. So the cat I has mean, done. Has a good point. Though. The cat has done three X's. <laughs> Thank it's you. not a good point. It's just the point. <laughs> Thanks, Shane. I wish Shane was here more often. You want to start our own show? We might. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> okay, can, All right, we we're finish, gonna go. can we finish recording mine first? <laughs> All right. All right, so Shane okay. has uh, you've done three actions. Are you yep. going to do any are you going to do any more no. you discard any birds for additional no, actions? I'm good with being a total coward. I'm happy. Okay. All right. So then it's the evening. During the Marquise's evening, all players draw their income. Everybody has one income symbol printed here at the top of their board. So at the end of this turn, everybody's going to draw one. And we uncover more income symbols by building more buildings. Incomses. That's what I thought you were going to say. Incomses. Incomses. So was I supposed to set up, select my commander? Yeah. Or whatever they are, the leader beforehand? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well. Why don't you you go back in time and have done that? Life is a learning process. Listen. You know. I don't know what I'm doing over here. Is that is that not clear? <laughs> All right. So the okay. birds have a uh, have a leader, a charismatic leader. In Look this how case, charismatic he is. Yes, he's very charismatic. He's much more charismatic than say this one. <laughs> Look at it. Couldn't be more. It's like night and day. 
Uh, the charismatic your leader determines the position in your decree of your trusted viziers, and we'll explain exactly how that works in a second here. Elise, why don't you just start taking your turn, and we'll uh, we'll work it out when it's time to process the decree. So okay. first, during bird song, you add one bird card or one or two non bird cards to your decree. Yep. So I think what I am going to do is. Ooh. Well, you can keep talking. I can, <laughs> but I'm not going to. We're going to focus in real tight on your hand here. Oh, no. Okay. Pressure. So I'm going to start like this. Okay, you have added a bird card to your decree. Yes. So. What a ballsy move. Yep. So I don't know if you're going to explain, but I'm just well, going to do start... stuff. Okay, you're resolving okay. your decree? So, yeah, I'm going to move into daylight. I'm not going to craft anything. Wait, maybe I am. Can I? Oh. I don't know. I can. Are you going to? Yeah, I think I will, actually. Oh. So I'm going to craft. Okay. So show us a card. I'm going to craft a crossbow. All right. So here's how crafting works. Each of us has crafting buildings. Uh, Elise has these roosts that she lives in. Um Shane has I'm a bird. workshops, yes, because you're a bird. Shane has workshops, and over here, the Woodland Alliance has strongholds. Uh, all the cards in our hands have crafting stuff along the right edge here, which I've rotated to the top edge on this card. In order to craft a card, you first have to have uh, the crafting building shown here. So in this case, it has to be a crafting building in a village that is fox-aligned, which she totally has. Uh, then it's just a matter of playing the card and doing what it says. So in this case, she scores a victory point and then discards this card. Yep. The cards also have stuff along the bottom. The stuff along the bottom is their conspiracy text, and that can only be used by the Woodland Alliance. We'll talk about that when I do it in a second here. All right, so I'm going to discard that card, and I'm going to skip reform, and I'm going to go straight to resolving my decree. Okay, so here's the decree. The decree okay. is four columns of cards at the bottom of her board. Uh, when it is time to resolve the decree, which is mandatory, uh, she starts in this column, processes it from top to bottom, then moves to this one, processes it from top to bottom, and so on. Each of the cards in the decree represents a mandatory action. If you are ever not able to do a thing from your decree, your empire falls into turmoil. There's chaos in the court. Your turn immediately ends. You don't get any further actions. And then the current regime is deposed. You take your leader and you flip him face down. He's gone. Probably he's somewhere safe, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, and then a new leader is placed. And you dump all of the cards out of your decree. And then you place your viziers in the positions declared by your new leader. And you start the whole thing over again. Uh, the birds score victory points during their evening phase. But on a turn where they go into turmoil, their turn ends immediately. And they don't go into evening and they won't score any points. What happens if you run out of leaders? You uh, you turn all of them back over okay. to the face up, and you get to pick one from the four again. But also, you probably lost the game because you've yeah, gone you into have, chaos four times. Yeah, if you have four turns where you don't have any scoring, my guess is that the cat will have won the game by then. Okay, so the first part of my decree is place a warrior at a roost in this clearing type, yep. and uh, birds are always wild. Yep. So bird suit is always wild. Um, and then also my leader, since he's charismatic, I recruit twice for each action. Yep. So um, I place two warriors in any clearing type. Uh, well, at a roost. I only yes, have one roost. any clearing where you so. have a roost. Which is only here. Yep, which is right here. Hey, guys. More friends. Look how angry these little bird tokens are. They are really angry. The next part... Uh, the decree is move at least one warrior from this clearing type. Yep. And again, it's wild. So moves work the same for everybody. She gets to select a clearing of this type and then move any number of the figures there out mm -hmm. to an adjacent clearing. So I am going to move... I think... Four birds here. Okay. Okay. And then... The last part of my decree is place a roost in a clearing of this type that you rule. And it's also wild. So, I now rule this rabbit clearing. True story. 
So I will place a roost there. Ta-da! Okay, easy okay. enough. Okay, and then we move into evening. So score VPs. So she scores a number of victory points equal to the uh, the value underneath the last removed clearing. So right now she'll score three VPs, jumping out mm -hmm. to a uh, to an early lead. Insurmountable. Insurmountable. Can we start over? No. <laughs> She's basically already won. Get We're used to it. Really doomed. <laughs> and then I discard down to my hand limit, but my hand limit is four. So, yep. so you're I only have two cards. Good. All right, and then I'm the Woodland Alliance. So the uh, the cats have recently conquered the area through violence in a show of strength. The birds are the ones who were deposed, uh, eager to reclaim their throne. And the Woodland Alliance is the poor people caught in the middle who would just like it if all these wars stopped happening so that everyone would stop dying everywhere. Oh, okay, you try to make them sound all innocent. Yes. That's not the case what do you mean that's not the case i don't think it is They're... cats have displaced the area it's time to build a new forest order we're gonna rise up also we're the ones who yeah. build everything. rise up yeah we gotta rise revolution up. yeah yeah viva, viva the rebel you're Badly. trying to make them sound like they're peace-loving people who just want to be left alone i didn't they're say the... hold up they're the... they're the french not people hold up i didn't say Creatures. anything about peace-loving well, that's what you were trying to make it sound like. No, All no, these no, animals no. are fucking assholes, and they just want to see people die. <laughs> Absolutely correct. So, during my birdsong phase, I collect any cards that are stored in my hideout, which is currently none. And then I draw cards equal to my outrage value. So you can see I have an outrage track here. Currently, it's at zero. Every time the cat recruits new units, or one of my hideouts gets blown up, my people become even more outraged. Because, frankly, how dare they? By the way, by people, we mean critters we are uh, cats are no not cats cats are not people but rabbits mice and, and mice and foxes are people are people right, this too is fucked up yeah <laughs> this, is, this is war this is how things are <laughs> so nothing Christ. nothing effectively happens during my bird song phase then we enter daylight you can see all these abilities on my card what this symbol means is spend this number of supporters so, I have to get some supporters first. I don't start with any, but I'll generate supporters each evening, and I can also gain supporters using the educate action. Discard a card to gain a supporter of that nation. So, I think what I want to do is, uh, I, need, I desperately need to gain supporters, honestly. I'm going to use the educate action. I'm going to discard this rabbit ambush to gain a rabbit supporter. And then I'm going to discard this bird card as though it were a rabbit, to gain a rabbit supporter, because, of course, birds are wild. Then I'm going to pay two rabbit supporters to build a hideout. I get to place the rabbit hideout and a warrior on any vacant slot in this clearing type. So I pick a rabbit clearing, build my hideout. I'm going to do it... Wait. Yeah, I'm going to do it here. Let's make a rabbit hideout. Uh, so I spend... My supporters, my two supporters, and I make a warrior. And I have uh, three different types of figures over here, but they're actually all the same for rules purposes. It's just that, uh, you know, if you uh, if you back the Kickstarter, you buy a physical copy of this game, you'll get lots of little different types of animal meeples, because that's how they entice people to buy the game. Link they're in the really description. Cute. Link in the description, absolutely. <laughs> Come on, you need to get better I do. Those. Hold on, I do want to say... For full disclosure, just so everybody's clear, we are not being supported by Leader Games. They did not give us any money or free copies of the game or anything. This is just a thing that I found and thought was cool. They haven't spoken to us. We don't know them. Yeah, just so we're just so we're perfectly clear. This is not sponsored yeah. content. It's just content about a thing that I think is neat. Yeah. Uh, and then I have a couple of cards left. So I can use the conspiracy action. Pay the number of supporters shown at the bottom of the card, in the bottom left, and then do whatever it says at the bottom. Uh, in this case, this iconography is a little... Okay, discard up to three cards and score two VP for each card discarded. That's not something I'm interested in doing right now. I need my cards too badly. Uh, I think what we will do, however, is secure our, uh, our position a little bit here. So I'm going to discard a fox card to create a fox supporter. And then I'm going to use the train action. Discard a bird card and pay a supporter to place a warrior in this type of clearing. So 
Discard a bird card and get rid of a fox supporter to create a warrior in a fox clearing. I'm going to do that. I just, I would like it if, I'd like to feel a little more secure. Okay. And then I am out of stuff to do. So we enter the evening phase where I gain one supporter of each nation and then discard down to my hand limit. Which is? Which is uh, more than zero. Measly two. A measly two. Yep. Measly, is that some kind of is that some kind of mouse crack? No, it's when you're sick. We're coming you for you. get the measles. You get measly. Yeah. yeah. You don't want to I get don't... measly. That <laughs> sounds right, but it can't be right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. All right, so now it's uh, now it's cat turn again, and that's the that's the game basically. The cat will score victory points every time they build. The birds will score victory points at the end of their turn, and I. We'll score victory points by crafting. I get double points for crafting. And um, some of the conspiracies, many of the conspiracies also score VP when they're played. So, yeah. during bird song of the cat turn, he's placing out his uh, wood at each sawmill. Basically, strip mining the area for natural resources. Yeah, well... I would, I would never do such a thing. I'm trying to make the world a better place. And, you know, some sacrifices are necessary. What are we strip mining around here? There's just a big castle. Explain that. Castles, castles made of wood. <laughs> <laughs> We're strip mining our own castle? Yeah, probably. Okay. Yeah, you're probably right. I would do it. All right, so three actions. Um, so yeah. What, what good is a castle if you don't win this war? <laughs> so, um... What was I going to say? Yeah, okay. So, I have two wood right now. Yep. And it's good to get more wood because it means I can build more recruiters and it means I can kill people better. I mean, make the world a better place. <laughs> um, but like, I think I want to start recruiting people and I don't want to like wait so long. Okay. So I think I'm going to spend two wood now or one wood now. And then we'll, cause I'll, it'll stockpile still, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. You yeah. Do, your wood will remain from turn to turn. I'm going to spend the wood here cause that place is less safe than my castle. Yep. So taking a build action to build a recruiter. Yep, just in the middle of the woods. No. Uh, and you can see he has now uh, revealed another income symbol. So at the end of the cat turn, mm -hmm. he'll draw an extra card. Yes. Woohoo. Um, and I also gained two victory points. True story. Hello? Get off of there. <laughs> you can be over here. Ow, rude. I'm yeah. lost now. Okay. Um, And then I'm going to like... I kind of want. I kind of want to like get ready to fight, which maybe I shouldn't make obvious. Maybe I shouldn't say it out loud. <laughs> By the way, uh, but so this could this could all be psyops, right? Maybe you're just trying to convince her that you're getting ready to fight. Well, oh, no, no. It's now a I don't it's know a, what to believe. It's a double misdirect. But, Except uh, that he just said, "Uh, no." So <laughs> that's a, that's a triple, a triple misdirect. Oh my god, I'm so confused. What's Shane's happen? statecraft is unequaled. You really can't. Yeah. Uh, well, the true trick is that you just be really honest with people, and they're like, there's no way he would tell me. He, he would tell me that truth, yeah. Well, first, I'm going to recruit, and that's the that's the cold, hard truth. Okay, so when he recruits, he places a warrior at each recruiter. But, of course, I am outraged that he would dare to marshal forces in my forest. What's he thinking? Says the guy marshalling for forces in his forest. My forces are castles. for defense. Yeah. Mostly. Yeah. 60%. Okay. And then um, I'm going to take a move. Okay. Two moves, in fact. Two. Two moves. No, that wasn't three. <laughs> I'm trying to select three. Counting is difficult. You're difficult. Sometimes. That's very true. Hey! Wow, jeez. All right, I'm not. Let's not move on to a different a hostile topic. environment. Shit. So that's three actions. Yeah, and then I'm gonna discard because I'm I'm well I'm gonna discard to get a different a another action. I can't. Okay, you have, to, you have discarded a bird to gain an action. <laughs> Shut up, SB. I'm yeah. helping. Mm -hmm. He's pretending to be your friend. We're gonna move one more time. Oh, wow. Hauled in. 
We're getting, we're getting into our stance. I'm sure it's just the defense force. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hi, we're here to defend ourselves <laughs> on your territory. Oh, boy. Yeah, well, when we try to burn down your building and then you don't let us uh, and you attack us, that's us defending ourselves. Uh-huh. So I think that's going to be my turn. Okay, so we enter the evening phase of the cat's turn. All players draw their income. I get one. I also get one. You just drew the card out of my hand. What? How is yeah. that... No, I drew, that's, that's not possible. I drew, I drew a card. It's on the <laughs> tape, man. You can see it for yourself. You just totally drew the card out of my hand. It's fine. It's all good. Except that but I know I, that it was a bird card. I hovered over the... What you if I drew it? I'm so confused. I don't know. It's, my card was definitely taken. I saw it go to her hand. Well... It's fine. All right. So it's your turn, birds. Okay. Uh, I'm going to add this bird card to my decree. Um... Where am I going to put it? I think at this point... Do I want to... Move more? Place more warriors? Or do I want to start fighting? Hmm. I think... This is a problem. There's a lot of birds. Yeah, we got a lot of birds. I think that we are going to... Do a little more... Placing. Okay. I hope that's not a mistake, but we'll find out. Okay. So, two for each card. So we start with the first one, place two at any okay, roost. So you're, yeah, you're resolving your decree. Yep. Oh, oh so place yeah, two, I should uh, probably say that, huh? Place two warriors at a, ro a roost of any type. There's two there. All right. And then place two warriors at a roost of any type. Then two there. Okay. Next part. Uh, move at least one warrior from this clearing type. And it's wild. So we are going to move... Actually... Do I want to move more? Uh... No, you should definitely... In fact, you should only move one. No. Moving that many. Okay. And that many is three. Three. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then uh, next is placing a roost in a clearing of this type that you rule, also wild. So I'm going to place a roost here. Okay. Ta da! And it's a crafting roost, so that's good. Then I discard down, or I score VPs. So I get this turn, I get four. Yep, so as you can see, the uh, the birds will sort of passively win the game uh, if they're given enough time. They're sort of setting the clock for all of us. I mean, it's yep. not really passive. They're like spreading their disgusting bird seed all over hey! my forest. Fuck you, birds. Oh my have, you ever, have you ever gotten like real close to a bird? Have you ever smelled a bird? Yeah, they're gross. It's, it's awful. Yes. Unlike cats. Yeah, unlike cats Actually, that don't cats, smell bad at all. Cats are pretty cats gross. Are very, cats are very clean. They're very clean creatures. Yeah, they're covered in spit. <laughs> and spit that's kind of toxic to humans, actually. Yeah. Right, are you good? Are you done? Yes. Okay. Yes. Hyperallergenic spit. So I collect my hideout cards, Nasty. which is none, and then I draw outrage cards, which is still none. So I have one entire card to work with this turn. But I did get some free supporters. I'm outraged. Me too. Well, yeah. I, it's not a lot that I can or would do about that. <laughs> Screw you. You know what I'm going to do? Die? No. Yeah. That seems likely. So here's the thing. Ideally, I'd like to have all of my hideouts constructed. Um, but... Putting up my mouse hideout is going to be a little tricky. Uh, this mouse village is unsafe. This mouse village is unsafe. This mouse village has no building slots. And this one this is... One? It's kind of okay for now, but it would mean all of my hideouts are on the same side of the board. Which isn't necessarily a problem, but... Hmm. You should come build here. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be <laughs> safe there. I'll protect you. 
Uh huh. I to a certain extent, the I feel like the cats in the Woodland Alliance are working together a little bit to stop the birds from getting out of control right away. Uh, right up until it becomes imperative for them to backstab each other. <laughs> See, that's the thing. Wouldn't you rather deal with someone how like that you know their position the whole time? Like, you know we hate you. So <laughs> you're not gonna get any surprises with us. That's Join my not... side. I want to kill you. <laughs> that's not as comforting as I think you meant it to be. So I'd hey. really like to build a stronghold. Uh, my strongholds have income under them, and they're also my crafting building. It would be really cool if we could do that. Unfortunately, uh, building a stronghold requires three supporters of the same type, which I cannot make happen. Seems like you only have uh, one card. Yeah. So <laughs> Could you maybe do a little recruiting? I would like... Uh... <laughs> I mean, I would be outraged, but... <laughs> It seems like this is what they want. I yeah. and I don't really want to. I don't really want to give you what you want. You need me. <laughs> mm. For now, you need me. Is I that like a romantic? Think, is this? Does this sound asinine? Am I? I kind of think I'm just gonna pass. I just kind of need to accumulate supporters and cards. I'm just gonna pass. I'm gonna. I'm gonna gain a supporter in each type during the evening here, and then uh, go ahead. Shame. Foolish. Hmm. It's time to win the game. As somebody Do who's it. played the Woodland Alliance, I don't think that's a bad idea. I think you're a bad idea. As someone who's only played supportive. half a game, uh, I'm going to win. You know what? Screw you all. I'm getting <laughs> angry. Did you, did you not know that we were playing competitively? I was trying to be supportive, and you just... Ugh. Whatever. The only thing SB supports is how much of a jerk he is and how he yeah. sucks. Wait. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, get get hacked. Yeah, I don't know what that means, but I yeah. feel I, I, I'm upset. I know I'm upset. Yeah, it's time to build. Okay. Uh -oh. So you're constructing build. your second recruiter. That's a very aggressive recruiter. Build you to hell. Nice. Wait, build no. you to hell. That's good. That's some yeah. good solid rhetoric. Okay, so you are. The analogy. Uh, you are gaining three victory points off of that. Did you, Would you just oh. <laughs> leave them? I was, I was worried one sunk into the ground. They're fine. I'm just. I'm, I'm really scared. All right. All right. Did you all right, gain yeah. your VP. Three. Easy. Okay. Okay. You have and two now it's time left. to. You want to get mad, SB? Get mad, because we're recruiting. Oh, I do. I love that, actually. Such outrage. I'm outraged. What a dick. Look at these dicks. I'm outraged They're building with joy. so many cats. <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> just building cats. Left and right. Assembling them from spare parts they found laying around. It's a nasty cat factory. Ew. There's cat spit everywhere. It is. Ugh. Nasty Cat it's... Factory was the uh, the name of my debut album. <laughs> Dude, that'd be an awesome album name. Like, holy shit. Nasty Cat Factory. I have one move left. I have Dude, one yeah, action, yeah, left. action left. Um, we're going to be aggressive little boys today. Uh-oh. Okay. I'm so scared. There's a lot of dudes here. That's true. Like, maybe this was a mistake to build here, I guess. <laughs> but it's fine. Listen. Yeah. I, don't, gonna, I don't think this is a mistake. Is like, this is how you this is how you establish a front. We're gonna establish dominance and recruit again. Uh, oh wow! Oh. Okay. Wow. I will indeed take another outrage. I'm fine with that. Well, part of this is I need to get rid of cards, anyways. <laughs> so okay. Um. Yeah, you're gonna be over your hand limit. Yeah. This is six six boys. You have six, six boys. boys right there? It is indeed not, six six bird men. That's not a lot of boys. What? It's not a lot? It feels like a lot to me. I don't know. I guess it's twice as many warriors as I have in total. <laughs> <laughs> it seems yeah. like a lot. Yeah, it only feels like a lot to you because you're a little bitch. <laughs> we're not we're not fighters. We're You don't lie. Peace loving crafters. I was expecting at least to call me out on that peace loving thing. I've given up. Oh, God. All right, so what's up? 
What's up, people, The people know the truth. Are you passing the turn? I am the No, people. why would I pass the turn? That'd be stupid. Okay, well then do something. It's time to fight. Alright. Let's play your bird to gain an extra action. Yes. And then... Move. Moving. Okay. Oh, that is so rude. Huh. That's, what? uh... Okay, you're moving here and then here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Just... No, nah, moving teleports here across the board. I'm moving. I'm moving here just to like be like, "Hey, fuckers! I'm gonna go kill your other guys." Um, uh -huh. yeah. and then I'm gonna do another action. We're gonna fight. Okay. okay. These are dangerous. For, for clarity, uh, he he actually did. He moved here and then here. Uh, when you're in a, when you have units in a clearing that is ruled by another player. You can only move out to friendly clearings. He couldn't. He couldn't have. Moved I couldn't here actually have done this. Yeah, yeah. but uh, in my mind, I did. All right, okay. Let's so he has initiated right. battle. So first, this the defender, the birds, get the option to retreat. Elise, would you like to abandon the clearing? Hardly. Hardly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, if the defender had retreated. The attacker would have the amb the option of playing an ambush card to deal some damage to them as they flee. Uh, since she didn't retreat, she has the option of playing an ambush card. Are you are you ambushing him? No. Okay. Uh, then it's just a roll of the dice. So there are these uh, special d12s. If you'll each roll your. I rolled a zero. You did roll a zero, and this one came up a two. <gasps> so they each roll their their four sided dice. Effectively, these are. Uh, Dice with four different faces, zero, one, two, three, three of each face. The higher number tells you how many hits the attacker deals to the defender. The lower number tells you how many the defender deals to the attacker. So mm -hmm. uh, Shane has dealt two hits, and the attackers have dealt, or the defenders have dealt zero. We're still That's, holding strong. There's a significant advantage to uh, to initiating violence. Yep. Just like in real life. Oh, it's gonna happen too. <laughs> you go to jail if you fight people in real life, though. Not I if learned you, that the hard way. Not if you win. <laughs> Those are the rules. Oh. All right, Gosh. are you uh, are you good? Is it your evening yeah. phase? Yeah, yeah, it's my evening phase. Okay, All right, draw so. your card first, SB, so I don't steal it from you somehow. Somehow, we all know how. I don't. With hate, full of hate. <laughs> oh my. I've drawn a uh, I've drawn a special card here. Explain it. Here comes the special boy. No, I won't. Explain it out can, loud. The viewers can see what it is. No, the fact that I've said that means that they know what it is. So there are a couple of these alternate victory condition cards. You can play them at any point during your daylight phase. You remove your scoring cube. You can no longer win via score, uh, and this replaces your old victory condition. But it can only trigger during bird song. So uh, at the very fastest, you could win via an alternate victory condition the turn after you play it. So everybody else at the table will have time to react. Uh, this one's not easy. This is not a thing that's going to be easy for us to do. Okay. So what are you doing during your bird song? I am going to add this card here. Okay. Um, I wonder what's going to happen. And this card here. All right. Okay. And then during daylight, I'm going to... Do I want to do this? I'm going to move this down slowly. Actually, I think I'm just going to do nothing during daylight. Okay, just going to go to your decree? Yes. Okay. All right. So, I'm going to place two warriors at two different locations. They actually don't have to be different. Oh, well, fair enough. Okay. That I have a roost in. Okay. Mm. Man. <laughs> it's going to super reinforce that clearing. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're just going to do that. Okay. Then move at least one warrior from this clearing type. Yep. So, so we have one wild. Yep. Execute a move out of a clearing of any type. We're going to execute a something in a second. Um, I 
think I'm I gonna move... execute you. That's what I'm saying. I move this guy here. Uh, these. Okay, yeah. Just I mean, one. he goes this way. Yep. And then I have to move one from a rabbit place, At which least is one. here. At least one. He's gonna go here. Okay. And then it's battle time. All right, you must battle in a mouse village. Guess where? I can't. I can't. I'm not that. sure. So, coward, would you like to flee? Don't fall for it. That's reverse psychology. <laughs> no, no, let's fight. All right. Okay, so Shane, you may play an ambush card if you have an appropriately suited ambush. Fuck that. Okay. Oh. All right. Okay, <laughs> roll your up. die. I rolled a one. I rolled a one. Okay, okay, so it turns out you each deal one hit to the other. Uh, I'll discard a card to keep to to uh, give one of my guys at the keep. So when a cat warrior is lost in combat, the cat may spend a card to move that warrior to the keep instead. Yep. Okay, and then the last thing I do. Uh oh. Uh oh. I made oh, a mistake. Did you... Oh no. Uh, you booted your whole society. So she is required Aww. to place a roost in a clearing of any type that she rules. However, birds uh, may only place one roost in each clearing. I'm so she, such a dummy. She currently does not own any clearings without roosts, so she cannot do this, uh, and thus, turmoil. I didn't think out my turn, because you guys are distracting me. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> uh, yes. Okay. okay, so you will take no further actions this turn. Remove... Uh, all your cards from the decree. Discard the uh, the non vizier cards. All right now, I kill SB. And then uh, rid yourself of your ruler, your foolish ruler, mm, for sorry, he led dude. you to this to this ruin. For shame. And pick yourself a new ruler. Mm. Let's see. I will be a commander. Okay, and then place your viziers in the appropriate positions. Ah, move and fight. <laughs> and Jesus. as attacker in battle, uh, the birds inflict an extra hit now. Yep. I'm scared. Okay. okay. So, evening, I don't score any VPs. But you don't have it, your turn's over. Your oh, turn, it's just over. Your turn over. ends during the turmoil. No, we, there's no evening. There is no evening phase for you. It's a day without end. All right. <laughs> Cool. Holy wow. shit. Doesn't that sound sweet? That sound no, that sounds horrible. That's or scary. It, so it sounds sweet because it's scary. It's probably the campaign promise of the new leader. Day without end. <laughs> Alright. Oh god. So I collect my hideout cards, I still have no hideout cards, and then I draw cards for my outrage, and I am now outraged enough to get free cards. The people of the forest have had enough of this nonsense. Fuck off. <laughs> forest idiots. That's forest a... idiots. <laughs> Forest idiots. <laughs> That's a lot of victory points. Uh, but Got him. it also costs a lot of supporters. We will not be doing that. Yeah, stupid forest idiots. What we Sick will. Birds. Okay. Yeah. All right, everyone. Calm. I mean, we're right, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What yeah. we will be doing yeah. is discarding a fox to educate a new fox supporter. We're going to spread our mm. fox propaganda. And By then, educate, he means brainwash. Yeah. And then I'm going to spend three fox supporters to build a stronghold in a region I rule uh, of this clearing type. And it turns out I control this fox region, so we will make a fox stronghold. That's the mm. wrong one. You're supposed to take them from the left side. But as you can see, I've uncovered an income symbol. And strongholds are my crafting building. So I can now craft cards that have a single fox uh, village as their cost. Unfortunately, I don't have one of those. Mm. So... Mm. We can make the mouse, vi uh, the mouse hideout, but honestly, there's not a huge incentive for me to do so. I already am not really using the hideouts that I have. Now, we could use this as a conspiracy. I think that's probably what I'm going to do. So I need to, mm. man, I need to take control of some more territory. <laughs> Just skip the rest of your turn. 
I could skip the rest of my turn. We have kind of put you in an awkward position. Uh, like, we're really good at spreading out. and You mean socially? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think, you know, that joke we made about making our own show probably put you in the most awkward Aww. position. I'm sorry. And so I don't think anybody would watch the channel without you guys. The other videos certainly don't get me views. <laughs> what? Nah. Jesus. Take, I do think take that, that things me. are getting out of control with the three of us together. At least Shane and I together can't be trusted. Yeah, no I'm kidding. The show. So I honestly, <laughs> like, I'm a little. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm a little like uh, Twitter pated over here. I don't really know what to do. I have Is all these when... options, but I don't know how to make thing happen. Hashtag Twitter pated. I think is that is that like when you like can't stop looking at Twitter? Is that what that means? <laughs> yeah, when you got it on the brain, that's uh, that's the. Yeah. Is that why you've been losing? You've been so focused on Twitter. I uh, yeah, I'm not paying attention to this game at all. I think honestly, I think I might pass. I'm not really getting oh a lot accomplished, but like I'm I'm securing income. I just need uh, my problem is I need to see more cards. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna pass. I'm going to uh, use my spy action. So I'm going to discard a card and pay a supporter. And I think I'm going to pay a rabbit uh, to draw a new card. Because these cards are not the thing I need. Well, that's also not that helpful. <laughs> so when you discard a special victory card for its suit, it uh, just goes over near the game board. It doesn't go into the normal discard pile. And during any player's daylight phase, if they want, they can s discard a card of the same suit to take this into their hand. Uh, you know, good luck, everybody, on having five improvements crafted. None of, us, uh, none of us have done anything. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, I mean, you know, aside from the bloodshed. Yeah, I participated in Glorious Battle. Uh, I don't really want to sacrifice any more supporters. I was hoping to get a card that had a conspiracy that was a little bit more compelling, but I don't think I should sacrifice any more supporters, so I'm just going to pass. Okay. I'm going to gain a supporter of each nation. Dude just wants to become more Twitter-pated. I am exactly <laughs> at my hand limit. Uh, t boy, I'm in trouble. <sighs> Is it my turn? It is your turn. It is indeed. Right. Wood time. Yep. Time so. for the wood. And time to build. Interesting. Mm -hmm. It's an aggressive sawmill placement. There's nothing aggressive about winning the game. <laughs> <laughs> That's not correct. <laughs> <laughs> I take your uh, uh, take your VPs. Yeah, yeah, sure. If you say so. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> recruit. It's time to recruit. Oh, I love that. Oh, the outrage! I'm so mad. He's such, he's such a bitch about it, dude. Damn. Just, I'm just being honest, man. What do you want me to do? Just being a bitch. <laughs> okay. It's a hostile environment. Hostile workplace. Yeah. The battle don't stop. I'm gonna move here and then move here. What? Okay. Okay. I'm serious. That's a lot of fighting. And yeah. uh, and we're gonna fight. I'm gonna discard for an action, and we're gonna fucking fight. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna retreat or anything. So. Are you gonna ambush? No. All right. Yeah, sir. I got a zero. You guys are out for blood. I got a one. Okay. At least one. All right. Uh, Can't oh, no. a hit to the birds. Yeah, I'll lose a guy. I'm okay with that. I have a lot no. of guys. Wait, why? Wait. Oh, you did zero. Did zero. Yeah, yeah, I did zero. You got one. I mean, one. I guess if you really want to. No, no, no. The the attacker takes the higher number. The attacker oh. deals hits equal to the higher number to the defender. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, attacking is a significant advantage. Yeah, I guess it's hard to get used to, because in most games it would be that my role would go against him and his would go against me. But Yeah. Yeah, yeah and I, I mean, that's my... This is not the, way, not the way it goes in the woodland, apparently. Nope. You're, you're done, then? You're going to evening? 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. So draw a card. Draw yours before I draw mine, SB, please. Big whiny baby. <laughs> I didn't want to say it. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Interesting. Oh boy. Okay. So what am I going to do? So actually I have a question. Sure. What's up? Um when I add cards to my decree and I if I add uh two non bird cards, yeah. can I add them to the same place? Yeah. Okay. Just curious. <laughs> but the order does matter, so be careful when you do it. Lisa's is about to add two to battle. <laughs> hmm. Time to fight. It's always time to fight. It is never not time to fight. This is—I just want to fight every turn. I feel like she if you is, don't, she fight, is actually I'm... required to fight every turn. Yeah. Yeah. Know. True. Um, I think. Actually, I think what I'm going to do is. Oh wait. No. I'm going to do this. Okay. And this. All right. Adding some recruits. Yep. So I start with fox. I'm going to add a fox or a warrior to a fox clearing. Yep. And then a warrior to a mouse clearing. Okay. That I control or that I have a roost in. Is what yes, that is. you have a roost in. Um, and then I have to move at least one warrior from a place to another place. So I'm going to move a guy here. Okay. Man, he has so many guys. Okay. He does have a lot of cats he there. He really <laughs> just wants to fight. I okay. just want to fight. Yeah. And then I'm going to battle here. All right. No, I'm not going to retreat before you ask ambush? your stupid, <laughs> foolish questions. No, I'm not going to ambush. We're going to fight roll. like men. All right, fight like women. I rolled a one. Okay, a one and a two. So the attacker uh, is a commander and deals three hits. Yeah. Shit. And the defender okay. deals one hit. Okay, I, w I will discard one to keep one of my dudes. Okay, so one guy runs home to the keep and the other two are slain, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. Horrible, horrible battle. Well, the balance of power here is shifting, uh, and you know what? No matter who wins, I'm uncomfortable with it. Did you take a guy back to the keep? Yeah, I took he one did. back to the keep. I discarded okay, for you it. Had seven. Okay, yeah. Um, okay, so there's that. That's the end of my decree. Okay. So now I score four VPs. Four VPs. Which bring me to 12. And then that's the end of my turn. All right. Well, I have cards now. At the beginning of my turn, I collect my hideout cards, which is still none. And then I draw outrage cards. And look at this. Look at my hand. Look at my grip here. This is definitely going to be a turn where I get to do stuff. Look at my grip. Is that supposed to be like cool yeah, that's, card playing sling? I don't know if it's cool card. It's stuff we would say when playing magic. So no, not super cool. No, that's not cool. Elise. Okay. Be nice. Well, I mean, it's not. I love magic, but it's not cool. You're a monster. Fuck yeah, okay. you. Wow. Wait. I wear. I it. only play magic in a leather jacket and sunglasses. <laughs> That's okay. It's really yeah, hot, and it's hard to focus. I've been meaning to talk to you about that. I'm cool, okay? <laughs> All right. I'm going to play a conspiracy. I'm going to play little eyes and ears. Look at us. Look at us Aww. looking out and listening. Don't. Do that. Aw, so little. No. Little eyes. We're and ears. mighty and fearsome. And little noses so and it little costs tails. Me three supporters to do that. I get to execute one move, and also I score three points. And the move I execute is going to be this move. The mice then, look like pieces mm. of toast. I can't. I just had to say it. Sorry. <laughs> Everyone was thinking it. <laughs> yeah, okay. I can sort of see that. I wouldn't eat toast if it had eyes, personally, but... That makes it do. better. You do they, you. Do you. What are you a they do look egg? like stereotypical pieces of toast. Okay, and then I'm going to spend three mouse supporters 
to build a stronghold in a region I rule of mouse type. There we go. Okay. Uh oh. Um, Shane, don't worry. We're not here to we're not here to murder cats. I just needed to play some house building. <laughs> it's not like you even could. I'm certainly not doing it here. I'm just saying you've left this area very vulnerable. Have I though? No. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to wait, wait, wait. Hmm. I should have played this in this slot. A smart person would have done that because this is a good card. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna save this for an emergency. I'm gonna discard a fox to generate a fox supporter, and then I am going to discard a bird to do the train action. Discard a bird and a fox supporter to generate a warrior in a clearing of that type. Hmm. Shit. And because I have the special ability hidden. Uh, when defending with one warrior, mm-hmm. I ignore the first hit. I'm relatively confident that I could hold out here if stuff went down. <sighs> also, I definitely have a fox ambush in my hand, just so everyone's clear. Wow. You hear this? Yeah. He's, he's fucking lying. That's right. What do you mm. think What do you think the odds are? Zero. How many fox ambushes are there? You zero. <laughs> there are zero? I don't think that's yeah, right. Yeah, I, I rigged the deck. Okay. So my hand I'm limit is guess two. He's telling the truth. I can only have two cards in my hand, but I can use this keep secrets action to play a card face down into an empty hideout slot. So I'm going to keep this card secret. Hmm. Then I'm going to end my turn. So okay. I gain a supporter in each nation, and then I have to discard down to my hand size of two, which I have done. Look at that. Elise, hmm. there's only one way for us to figure out whether or not he's telling the truth about that ambush card. And it's to <laughs> yes. both attack him. We have to both go there and attack him. I, I can think of another way, but no. I'm not going to do it, which would be just look at his screen. But <laughs> Yeah, which you can definitely <laughs> see from where she's sitting. I mean, I could... I could I'm least, not going to do that. At least you're I on the honor system. There. Yeah, you could drive <laughs> over. <That's true. laughs> it would take a while. <laughs> it's time to... All right, you I don't know. Uh, what do you have, four wood now? Yeah. I actually should have thought ahead about what I was planning to do, but I didn't really think about it. I Yes, I agree. That's a good idea. <laughs> Generally, lot... in games, yes. Okay, well, there's, there's, there's a lot of options. That's the problem. Yeah, you could, build, uh, you could build a third column building and then also your workshop. <laughs> yeah. I don't, know if you, I don't know if you need that workshop. It might fuck. be better to bank the wood. Yeah, fuck the workshop. Honestly. Jeez. Oof. Feels unnecessary. Maybe like disproportional. I want to bang that workshop. <laughs> wow. That's not better. <laughs> I think you said that in an attempt to fix it. No, no, no. It's not better. I want to have sexual intercourse <laughs> with that um, workshop. With anyone, with anything. Well, oh, I was, no, I just was already workshop. gonna I was already gonna have to put a content warning on the video. I guess it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean there's a lot of murder going on, so Yeah. Yeah, but murder, we're fine with kids knowing about murder. That's true. It's bad, bad words and intercourse are not okay. Yeah, like the thing that promotes, propagates hey, Elise. human life. Hey, Elise. What? I'm getting on a soapbox. Off the soapbox. Okay. I'm off the soapbox. Hey, Shane, what's up? What are you doing? Okay, he's doing moves. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm sorry, this is a... Make love, not war. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Move here and then here. Okay. Build a recruiter on the red ah. square because the red squares are the coolest. Okay. the uh, The red building slots are not different from the white building slots for the purposes of this game, but they do uh, they do something a little different if you have the fourth faction in play. Um, gain four victory yeah. points. Yep. Oof. I feel like I'm slightly behind. Yeah. It's all right. I'm establishing a network. The Woodland Alliance seems to take a while to get online. Like, it's just kind of hey, slow hey, to hey, get hey, going. 
What? Keep your eyes on your own paper. Stay in your lane. What? I don't need your analysis, Birdman. Well, maybe there's somebody out there that wants to hear my analysis. Probably not. I don't maybe. think so. That doesn't sound right. It's not all about you. All right, I didn't, I didn't think about this. <laughs> Me. It's fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, you'll be fine. We're going to recruit. You're going to recruit. Okay. I like this. I like this part where people help me because I'm having trouble. Yeah, keep helping him. Shut up, bird people. Right? Hey. They're the worst. We should definitely yeah. take what? them down. They're Stop dirty. It. Yep. No. All right. All right. And then I'm going to end my turn. Also, look how mean they look. Look at how mean this blue bird looks. You can just tell that this is a mean person. Uh, and now it's time to discard. Okay. And it's uh, time for us to draw. I have two income. Okay. I keep drawing cards that are difficult to craft. Hmm. Okay. Let's zoom in on the uh, the iconography reference here so that people can tell what I have in my hand. Okay, I'm gonna do my turn here. So I only have one card. I'm gonna place it here under placing a roost and a clearing of that type. Okay. Um, and then I can't craft or reform during daylight, so we're going to resolve the decree. Yep. So we place a warrior in fox, and then a warrior in mouse. Sure. That I have a roost in. So fox, mouse. Uh, and then we move at least one warrior from anywhere. Which will be here. You're just going to move one. Um, maybe. I mean, it's, if that's what you want to do. No. I'm just double checking. Wait. <laughs> you seem unsure. I don't know. I have to move. I have to move somebody. Yeah, you have, you have to do. Somewhere. You have to move. Remember when you execute a move, it's. Oh. Interesting. Ah, I see. Yes. Yeah, I have. To, yeah, you I have, have to, to. You have to build a roost, right? This is what I didn't do last time. Okay, battle. Okay. Um. So I am going to battle. I guess I'm still gonna battle here. Okay. I'm worried about this. I need that area. So, Shane, are you ready? Yes, but. Oh. I'm gonna ambush. Oh. Okay. An ambush birds take two hits. Okay. The it's bird time. ambush. Time to fight. It's the most versatile of ambushes. He used it on the birds. Mm -hmm. We got a one. I got a zero. Okay. So you take two. Yep. Because, of course, yeah, yeah. Okay. the commander is leading. Uh, costly, though. Costly victory. Yeah. All right. Remove them. <laughs> <laughs> Remove them. <laughs> Remove them. Jeez. Okay. And then I can play a roost in the... Well, I have to play a roost yep. in a clearing. And the only place I can do that is over here. I'm, I'm nervous about SB. Yeah, you're nervous about SB with three points? Well, I'm feeling confident about the other... I score five VP. <laughs> the other bird in the room. Okay, she's at 17, by the way. Oh, okay, never mind. I'm scared. Just so we're all Don't clear, I'm definitely not winning. He he, always says that. <laughs> I'm al it's always true when I no. say it. Well, and then you always win. So. Yeah, Look, winning well, winning is subjective. Uh, apparently, there, there is video evidence that I do not always win. Now, I did beat him in a game of scythe on the channel. Yeah, I was very Holy proud. Shit. You beat you beat me at stuff that happens. I know, but it was on the this, channel. It was this exciting. myth, this myth that I always win. Only does me harm. All right, but listen, you, that's fine with me. You win the majority of the times, and that's all that matters. Like, so even gonna, if it's like a fifty-one percent. I'm gonna collect my hideout cards, and then I'm gonna draw cards for outrage, and look at all these cards. Now it's a matter of making them into any kind of points. You have caused him some serious outrage. Wow, my uh, my set of crafts is really unfriendly. <laughs> Like, 
I actually can't, despite the fact that there are eight cards in my hand right now, I can't craft any of these. Oh, yeah, dang. that's the problem I had with them, too. It's all right. We're working on it. It's tough. To um, get ones that always cost two. Yeah, I put myself in a position where it's too hard for me to access Rabbit. Mm. I built a hideout in Rabbit so that I would have slots to hide cards. Um, and that it's going to make it difficult for me to make a Rabbit Stronghold. Little bunny foo-foos. But we do have... I mean, we have some options yet. Wow, like almost all my cards are double rabbit craft. <laughs> mm-hmm. Sorry, we'll figure it out. So this is... Still a situation. Mm. Well, I need to start playing... I need to start getting victory points. Let's do some things that score me victory points while being exciting. Yeah, do that. I'm going to play Friends in Small Places on my Fox Stronghold. So this costs me two supporters. I'm going to pay Rabbit Fox. And this generates a warrior on the hideout of this type. So I'm going to generate two warriors... That, that symbol generates a, a warrior, and I have it twice there. So we generate two warriors here. We maintain control of this clearing. Mm. Um, and then I need, I need more supporters. So I'm going to discard some cards to make supporters. Okay. I'm going to discard... Shoot. This guy and So Shane, how are you feeling so far? I kind of feel like a bad person right now. <laughs> That's <laughs> not fair. what I expected, but okay. <laughs> some bullying is about to happen. Hmm. I just have to make room. So Uh, When I make a hideout, I can make the hideout in any vacant slot of that clearing type. It doesn't have to be a place that I control. So I'm also going to discard this to make a mouse. Basically, I'm just trying to clear cards out of my hand because um, I'm going to have to discard stuff if I'm not careful here. And then I'm going to pay two mouse supporters to make my mouse hideout. Uh, Any vacant slot in a mouse clearing... Um... Is this actually the only valid spot on the map? Hmm. This mouse clearing is full. This mouse clearing is full. This one is full. I think this is actually the only place where this yeah. hideout can be placed. Uh, and also, a warrior. Go forth, little mouse. Hi, oh, everybody. Boy. I'm just going to stand here between you. Wow. I'm sure it will be fine. Uh-huh. All right, I'm going to play Bake Sale. We're going to have a Bake Sale. Yay! And then I still have too many cards in my hand. So I'm going to keep this one a secret. And then I'm going to discard this guy to make a Fox Supporter. Okay. And then I'm going to call my turn. So I will gain a supporter of each type and discard all the way down to my hand limit of two. All right. Go ahead, Shane. Okay. Move two here. All right. What is happening? And two Jeez. here. And then I will do my incite mob action. Oh, all right. And discard so. three fox cards. So he has to discard three cards of a single type, and then in each clearing of that type that he rules, which is where he has the most oh, stuff. Oh no, I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay. All right, it's fine. Okay. Um, <laughs> he removes all opposing buildings, scoring two VP per building. And opponents who lose a building draw one card for each building they lose. So he... This one. Uh, yes. No. Yeah. Oh, no, you're right. To... Okay. Oh, no, yeah, not sorry. that one. Refigure your Neither. play. Could I... right there. Yeah, is that okay? He... I... Yeah. 
yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. Sorry, um, I guess I guess Elise is the one who has to. Do you, do you mind? Because I totally That's forgot fine. I was about the. That's yeah. fine, you big bully. So the problem is he doesn't rule this clearing because he has the same number of things. He has two warriors, and the birds have a warrior and a roost. And in the situation where there is a tie, nobody owns the clearing except uh, that me. birds win ties. If there's a tie between me and Shane for a clearing, neither of us own it. If there's a tie involving a bird, the bird owns it. So is this what you want? Like this? Yeah, let's do that. And then I'm going to... Okay. Yeah, so instead of moving, I moved one. Yep. Actually, Great. Mm, I'm, I'm going to do, I'm gonna do this as a move. I'm going to leave this empty. Okay. And then you do your incite mob action, removing her roost and gaining yourself two VPs. You draw and a card. I get a card. Well. And Elise yeah. gets a card. Okay. And then... You still have one action left? Yeah. Man. Move. Okay. Bullying is maybe still happening. What uh, are you doing? Shh, it's okay. He's moving. For violence. Okay, that's and then, the second part of that move. And then, yeah, discard this for an extra action, and we're going to fight Elise. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Okay, so this is sorry. you in the game if you rule the keep during birdsong. Uh, not no, I said... by the cat, obviously. I said sorry for discarding that card in the wrong spot. That's what I meant. Oh. I'm not oh. sorry about this, no. Well, I'm not retreating. Yeah, okay. he assumed. He already rolled. Sorry. All right, so he rolled a one. I forgot that you can retreat. Hack. Three. Uh, no, that's really good for you, Shane. Oh. Okay. Yep. So you, the attacker guess. gets the high result. So you deal three hits to her, and oh, she deals yeah. uh, one hit to you. That is... That's how it works. Correct. Yes. I know you. the rules of this game. Okay. And that'll be the end of my turn. Okay. I'm draw three cards. You didn't, didn't quite deal enough damage to clear out the roost. Yeah. Right. But it's fine. I draw two cards at the end of your turn. Elise? Okay. So. Oh, I got to draw did you, a card. Yeah. Did you get your income? Yep. Okay. I have. Okay. What am I going to do? I'm so excited. I'm going to get to craft. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> I'm going to be straight up with you. I do not have a good feel for how the Woodland Alliance plays yet. I think I understand the cat and the birds pretty well, mm -hmm. but I have a, a really hard time still with these guys. Hmm. So what's up, Elise? What's going into the decree this turn? Good question. Okay, I think. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Okay. Adding a fox to the move. Yes. And then. I guess I'm just gonna go straight to my decree. Okay. So I place. Wait, maybe not. Maybe I'm going to place another card. Okay. Nope, I'm not. <laughs> Crap. Wait. No, I still do have a roost there. Oh, good. Yes. That was my um, plan. That was my bully plan. Ooh. I think... But it failed. I'm going to do that. Okay. Okay, so one Makes sense. warrior here. And then two here. All right. And then I have to move at least one warrior from wild and one from fox. Yep. So I'm going to move... Hmm. One from... At least one. Two. Um, four Ooh. from fox. If he's going to be... Picking me, picking on me there. I'm moving. It's fine Just yielded me. your roost to him. I don't care. Whatever. I'm so sick of fighting him there. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Find somewhere else to go. Okay. So then I battle, and I'm going to battle here. 
You're going to battle who? I'm going to battle SB. Really? That's I have to now. place a roost somewhere where I rule. Uh, so you can blame Shane for this. <laughs> I'm not going to. Well, I need to place a roost somewhere, otherwise I lose my turn. Okay, uh, so I could retreat. If I do so, I will lose my stronghold. It will be sad. You will. Let me uh, pull up the battle rules and make sure that that's... Okay. It is Shane's fault. It's not Shane's fault. <laughs> it is. You would I blame... not leave me alone. Look, I blame the castle. It's very regal and all the power went to my head. Mm -hmm. Alright, the defender may retreat if he rules an adjacent clearing, which I totally do. Uh, if I retreat, the attacker may play one ambush card matching the clearing of the battle to inflict a hit. Finally, the defender must move all remaining warriors to one adjacent clearing he rules and end the battle. Mm. So if I retreat, you actually, you, you are too busy chasing me out to destroy my stronghold. I guess so. I will. I will tactically retreat. Are you going to ambush me and make me sad on the way out? Nope. All right. And when an army retreats, it may take losses based on its size. Because I only retreated two guys out, I don't. But uh, if you retreat a large force, you, you take so some hits. So I can't attack the building. Uh, the battle ends. Okay, that sucks. Well. And I saw um... a... Uh, I saw a question in the board game geek forums about this. This is the way that it is intended to go, at least as of as of this version of the rules. Of course, okay. they're not well. uh, finalized yet, so they're doing updates all the time. Then my turn ends, and I don't score any points. Take that, birds. That's not nice. You guys are bullies. <laughs> I ran away. <laughs> bullies, bullies always run away. All all I did was flee, flee from violence. All right, so it's my turn. I collect my hideout cards because I need all these cards. And then I get two cards from being so very mad. I've never been madder. Who's your new ruler? I don't know yet. Move and... Okay, so I've seen, I've seen some new cards. And right, I'm going to do a little bit of crafting. To builder. So I'm going to use my mouse crafting building to play a scouting party. During birdsong, I get to look at any local player's hand. A local player is a player with whom I share a clearing. So and then I'm going to use, yeah, for, for right now, you. Yeah. During my birdsong, I could look at your hand. So it won't have any effect until my next turn. Yeah. yeah. Then I'm going to craft this anvil. Uh using my fox stronghold. Okay. So when crafted, score two VP and discard a card, except I get double points for crafting. So I get four VP. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. I have almost half of your score. We got to take it out. That was the line. <laughs> Six was the line and you crossed it. <laughs> That's it's, it. It's harsh. It's tough to be me. Six, to, six is just a shitty number. Don't, don't cross it. Don't cross it. Yeah. Well, I'm concerned. Are you? Yeah. I need to not lose my strongholds. They're very important to me. I also need to build more strongholds. Uh, that's being a real problem. Hmm. I guess I don't see anything in the rules about me not being allowed to have multiple strongholds in the same clearing. Let me double check here. Hmm. A clearing that I rule of a matching nation. So I guess I could build another stronghold here. Yeah. I have two fox strongholds. Uh, it's not super great for the cards that I have in my hand, not to reveal a tremendous amount of information. But it would be cool if I could pick up a non-fox stronghold. Unfortunately, the nearest place that I could build a non-fox stronghold is, like, over here. Mm. Nope. Nope. All right, I'm going to play Little Eyes and Ears. Let me 
think here. So cute. Yeah, little eyes and ears. All right, so this costs three supporters, and it'll be rabbit, rabbit, fox. And that gives me a move and three points. Now I'm going to move these guys. All of them. I'll move all of them over here. Okay. Go away, birds. Go away. Then I am going to... As you might expect, uh, I'm going to start some shit. So I'm going to pay a mouse supporter. Okay. To engage battle in this mouse territory. Let's fight. You will not retreat? Nope. Okay. And I won't ambush. Let's fight. Well, I know you won't ambush. <laughs> yep. All right, I rolled. That's a one. You also got a one, so we both lose one. Okay. I just need you not to be here. Too bad. Okay, and now I need to do a couple more things because I still have too many cards. So I'm going to discard a rabbit card to make a rabbit supporter. Then I'm going to play Friends in Small Places on my fox hideout, discarding these two supporters uh, to make two warriors at my fox hideout. Uh, and then I'm going to play Bake Sale and get a point. Okay. He's here. here comes the win. Oh, yeah, I didn't take my three points from Codebreakers. Suck it, everybody. I'm actually almost in the game. I'm getting close. I'm, com I'm coming back. See, this is where he yeah. comes ahead all of a sudden and wins. We, we never After see it coming. I like this card, but I think I can't. I always do, but I never stop. <laughs> I never stop it. I think I'm going to discard this card, too, to make a rabbit. Because I can't hold that card. Okay. And that'll be the end of my turn. Also, I'm like 100% sure. Bake Sale has an income on it. I'm like 100% sure that I didn't draw a card for that income last turn. So well, I will remember this time. Too bad. Too bad. All right, and then I'm done. I gain a supporter in each nation. And then it is Shane. And then it is Shane. Shane okay. the cat. Shane and the cat. and to clarify, I can't move these guys over to here, right? Like, it needs to be from a place I own to an adjacent place. Guys? Oh, I guess I do own this place, right? You can, you can move uh, your guys from anywhere. If you move from a place you control, you can move to any j adjacent clearing. Okay. If you are moving from a clearing you don't control... You have to move back to a clearing that you own or that is unowned or that is owned by a player who you who allows you to move in. Okay. All right. I think I'm going to attack this roost, right? And just destroy it. Yep. Um, and I don't get anything for that, right? It just happens. You get a point. I get a point. Okay. You do. Get a point. And then I'm going to move. Okay. Move three dudes here. Okay. And six dudes over here. What a bully. Uh, they, these cats Jesus. are real bullies. And then I'm going to incite mob again. And I'm going to do it for rabbit. Okay. So, here's the... Yep. Three rabbits, because right. birds are wild. So that'll destroy your building, SB, and... Uh, the roof. I thought you were... Wait, it oh, does. Okay. It does all. Yeah, all yeah, things that I each, control. Each clearing of of that type that he controls. So, and then I get four victory points for that as well. This makes me sad. You know, in each clearing of that type, you roll remove all opponent buildings, scoring two VP for a building. Well, my rabbit hideout is removed, and that means that the card that is in the rabbit hideout uh, goes away. Rip. Rip you're my so bake cute. sale. You destroyed my bake sale, Shane. <laughs> The cats you know what? roll up. I have feelings here. about that. The cats pull up and there's a fucking bake sale going on and they just burn <laughs> it to the ground. You bake food in our territory. And That's then, just uh, cruel. 
Yeah, and that'll yeah, be my three moves for my turn. Seems Tearing like uh, that seems like his stand. whole thing being cruel. Look, it's not cruel. I, I get to draw a card because you destroyed my building with yeah. this stupid thing. Okay, and then it's your your evening face. Yeah, so I did true. Okay. Oh, I already drew my card, so. That's and I draw two, and since we ran out of deck, we flip it over and reshuffle, and I draw my other card. Did you draw your, for my evening phase, at least, did you draw your other stuff? Yep. Okay, you remember you draw a card for me destroying a roost, too? Oh, I didn't get that then. Yeah, do get that one, too. So you should have okay, two so cards. No, so yeah. I have two, okay. Okay, so my bird song will be... <sighs> so who are you now? You are double victory points for crafting, okay. Yeah, I mean, it's not going to be great for me, because... Oh, uh, yeah. I actually forgot to put wood on my... Oh, yeah. That, me... is, uh, that, that is mandatory. Yeah. I wasn't going to use it anyways. That's why it slipped my mind. Okay. What I am going to do is place... <sighs> this. Okay. So... The beginning of my decree will start now. Um, so I place a warrior in a clearing type of whatever with a roost. And I only have one roost. So the guy goes here. Okay. And then I, ha I can move at least one warrior. I must move at least one from a type of clearing. Yep. So... Hmm. <clears throat> hey, Elise. Yes. If you were to... Hmm. I don't want you to try and manipulate me. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to fall for that. I'm just saying, it now appears to me that maybe Shane is winning. Nah. Mm. And this is how that game. this is how this game Birds works. and cats it's unite. It's kind of the same in Vast, too. Remember? It's too like, late for that. Right, it's, uh, we always, we, the people who are not currently winning, always have to be working together. Be wary of the guy who does seem to be winning. I'm wary of both of you. That's fair. Okay, so I'm going to do what I want to do. Okay. You, keep your mouth shut. <laughs> Damn. I'm angry. You guys really beaten up on me. It was mostly just me, to be fair. Yeah, what Mostly did I do? you. You attacked me. That oh, was... you retreated. Yeah. Leave me alone. <laughs> I think it's fair to be upset at someone for being a coward. I'm upset that you're a coward. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, I'm mostly mad at Shane. He's I'm just currently upset. uniting you against me. No. I'm mad at both of you. Okay. Mostly him, though. Um... I'm so angry I can't even think straight. <laughs> <laughs> so that's like an all the time problem, huh? Hey. Jeez. Now I'm mad at you. <laughs> yeah. Good job. Yes. Keep it off, SP. <laughs> Be more of a jerk. I am going to. <sighs> I don't know. Hmm. I think I'm going to move. I don't want to get greedy. I'm worried that. I think I'm going to move a guy here. Okay. I'm trying to is spread that, out too much, but I can't right now. Is that enough to give you ownership of that place? Shane's on six. Two, three, four, five. I have to move another one then. Okay. Now I have ownership. Does she win ties? Yes, birds okay. win ties. The birds win ties here, yeah. And I'm building a roost there. Okay. So. If you keep rotating your roost before you play them, but you're not like. Every roost you put down on the table has been a different orientation, I think. Yeah. I don't know why this one. This one. <laughs> is like that. No, but I've been rotating them no, so but they're this upright. One, this one's. Oh, well. I rotate them before they go on the board. I don't okay. Know. Whatever. Uh, so plus three VPs during evening. Yep. I am not going to win. 
I mean, you're keeping pace. He's taking over. He's yeah. He certainly has a position now. Something's gonna have to be done about all these sawmills. Uh, but I don't know if I'm in a much of a position to do it. So at the beginning of my turn, I get back my hideout cards. I draw cards based on my outrage. That's another two. Man. I really need rabbit strongholds. <laughs> I'm drawing so many rabbit crafting cards. Well, you can stay far away from my rabbit zone. <laughs> wow, that sounded weird. That did sound weird. <laughs> <laughs> you can stay Good far drill. away from my rabbit zone. Let me in your rabbit zone. <laughs> That's like a... It's like one of those like smooth talking guides. Yeah. It's like a book, How to Get Into Their Rabbit Zone. How to Get Into Their Rabbit Zone. Stay away from my fuzzy bunny. Uh, Gross myself out. Yeah, that was. Why don't you just someone... take your turn? I'm, I'm taking it. To... I'm think. I'm working on it. Constant liquid in my fuzzy bunny. Ew. Whoa. <laughs> yep. But see, that's. <laughs> it's good to do jokes that happened before the recording started. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. That joke was from before. Yeah, no, that's the perfect thing. So... That no one will ever understand. No, they'll just be like, "Ew, that sounds gross." Like, wow, why is this guy so gross? And you're like, oh. "I'm gonna." Discard a bird. It's a serious for training. boy. Serious so I'm gonna discard a bird boy. and get rid of this fox to make a warrior in a fox clearing. <clears throat> and then I'm going to take a Yeah. I just realized that the card I was gonna use to move is also the card I need to use to craft. That sucks. These guys are tricky. Yeah, they are. Uh, you know what? I'm still going to do it that way. So I will uh, I will play a visit to friends, which costs zero supporters, lets me execute a move, and gives me a point. Okay. And I'm going to move three supporters over to here, or three warriors over to here, giving me control of this area. Uh-oh. And then I'm going to discard... Oh, I forgot to do scouting party. Whatever. It's too late now. I missed it. I'm going to discard a rabbit to make a rabbit supporter. And then I'm going to uh, pay three rabbit supporters to build a stronghold in a rabbit village that I control. I, mean, I, just... I don't give a fuck, dude. Yeah, okay. See? Fine. That's fine. We're... We live in harmony. Yeah, except let me win. Uh... See? I don't know about all that. I can't trust him. What do you mean? I just want to win the game. <laughs> you know what's wrong with that? Yeah. No, I meant you can't trust SB. Oh, Wait. yeah. I agree. You, you should trust me. <laughs> okay. What? Okay. <laughs> don't trust him. Then I'm going to discard this to make a fox supporter. Then I'm going to play Friends in Small Places on my fox clearing, paying to supporters to make two warriors in, uh, at the place of my fox hideout mm. yeah he's becoming being slimy I, mm -hmm. I can't leave it available you'll kill my buildings I'm just saying. We, both, we both know you will do it <laughs> I would totally do it it's very advantageous um, then I need to get rid of two more cards uh I might just discard them to make... Yeah, I think I'm just going to discard them to make uh, people. So I will discard two mouse cards to make two mouse supporters. And then I will end my turn. And I will gain a supporter in each nation. <sighs> mm. These are all discarded. Okay. Okay. There are many options here. Makes yeah things difficult sometimes. We have a lot of stuff to build stuff. Yeah. Well, let's first give myself the wood. Yep. If you know what I mean. I was. I do. I showed such restraint, <laughs> and then you just had to say something else about my wood. Yeah. 
my heart. I'm a grown up person. Is. Okay. <laughs> Focus. Okay, sorry, What's this is hard. Man? Not my not my one. <laughs> okay, I'm talking about the game. Nobody was thinking of uh, <laughs> Well, no, Elise was probably thinking. <laughs> what? I think I'm I would never first. And I think I'm just gonna like you can fucking have your roost and eat it too. Yeah. Is that, <laughs> is that what you do with roosts? Yeah, that's you know the old saying. Have your roost and eat it too. <laughs> I don't I guess okay. that's a move. Yeah. Um I'm not sure what I want my next move to be as part of the difficulty here. <sighs> Wait a second. I those guess I, six, oh. those six cats. You don't own that. That's true. Place. Okay. Yeah. My bad. Uh, so you you can only move out to a place you own or to a place whose owner allows you to move there. Hey, SB. No. Okay. Ooh, stay, harsh. Stay away from my buildings, you huge writhing mass of cats. I swear I won't attack your buildings. Wait a minute. Go here. You can go here. Okay, but maybe I don't want to. Wait a minute. That being the case. What? He couldn't have come here in the first place, right? Why? Oh no, he no, used the. No, because I had. Yeah. He used the mob. Okay. Yeah. Never mind. Uh. Okay. He moved from a place he controlled. Yeah, because yeah. I I had the most people here. Oh, so I controlled place, this yeah. place. Yeah. Okay. If you can't, if you couldn't move to a place that you didn't control, how would anybody ever? I fight? don't know. This game's been going on for a while. Yeah. No, it's. it's... I, because I was sitting there, Third. I had that plan thought out at least, and then I was like, "Wait, yeah. I can't move there because I don't control this place." But then I was like, "Wait a minute." Yeah. So it's okay. I did the same thing. Thanks, Shane. Shit, you're welcome. <laughs> but shit. <laughs> but shit. Hmm. I'm okay. I'm sorry. I, I'm trying to make decisions. It's difficult. Can be. What am I gonna okay. do? Mm. How many cards? Yeah, do you have one card. That makes there. me happier. Have less cards. Have zero cards. Thanks. Okay. All right. Uh, mm. Move. Okay. What? That uh, you don't own this. So you can't move oh, there unless fuck. she lets you. Wait, I'm no not one, no one owns gonna this. Oh, she, she oh she, she I didn't does. see. The brown pieces mm. kinda of blend in. They do. Yeah. So that's that's been a struggle for me sometimes. I didn't realize there was stuff there. You can move those guys out to here. Yeah, yeah. Um and then from here you could move to here since you do own this. That's that sucks. I'm curious why the birds aren't blue. Uh, maybe they will be mm. in the final printing. Because the brown does blend in a lot. And it also might be the case that they don't want to make any faction the same color as the card colors. I'm not sure. That might that might be a thing. Mm. So you move those guys out to here. and then Yeah, I'm gonna... yeah. I'm okay. going to do that. And then I'm going to build twice. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna build. Seriously? That's not great for us. <sighs> I'm gonna build a recruiter here. Ugh. Wait, wait. Do I build twice? Maybe I don't build twice. Well, okay. Wait. Sorry. If I don't build twice, then I don't move there. <laughs> this is a. Oh. This is making me tense. He's like, I do this. No, just kidding. <laughs> <gasps> it's <My> hard. <laughs> My wood. It's hard. Uh, I, I can't stop making that joke. Is it a joke, though? No, it's not. It's just I just want to talk about what. Oh, okay, TMI. <laughs> um. Okay, how about this? Let's do this. Okay. I'm gonna move here. Okay. I'm move two guys here. Okay. And then... Sure. Okay, fine. Yeah, let's do this. All right. Okay. And then I'm going to build a recruiter here. Okay. 
at a cost of three wood. Yeah, which I'm going to take two from here. Actually, two from here and one from there. Okay. And then... And get your points. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. He's uh, real close to winning. Yeah. I'm going to recruit, I think. Do something. Wait. I can't. <laughs> do something. I Help can't. me. Help me no, win. I can't. He's beating up on me. I'm just right. asking her to help me not lose. It's different. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Quite a bit. Mm. Yeah. So once you get to the max track, if I recruit more, it doesn't. You don't. You can't get any more outrage. Your max outrage, right? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I'm so, I'm sorry. My this maximum is... level of outrage. <laughs> this is uh, apparently the most difficult decision I've ever made. Wow. In my whole life. See, it's a tough life. And we're here to experience it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, you know what? Uh, let's let's recruit twice. So I'm gonna discard for an extra action, and we're gonna recruit. Okay. So one there. Well, well, two there, and then three more here. Okay. And then that's a lot of cats. Two here. Yeah, we got a cat problem. Here. We do, in fact, have a cat problem. It's just like the real world. It's a cat circumstance. All right. <laughs> it's a real cat circumstance. Yep. And then uh, that will be my turn. Okay. Ooh, right, I have three income. Hmm. Okay. So, what am I going to do here about all this? So, uh, he needs to lose buildings. Okay. Or we're gonna lose the game. Well, the two of us together have to have to reduce his building count. How? Um, <clears throat> murder. Murder, most foul. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't. I don't think I'm equipped for that. But we'll see. You're not equipped for that. Yeah. Exactly. It's even worse over here. We're just we have to work together, man. Okay, so I'm playing this card in battle. Okay. So I will place... I Well, I'm going to resolve my decree. So, okay. place a guy at a roost. Yeah. So we got to... We got to find a location where he can lose buildings. He's got a lot of cats at all of his buildings, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> that was and the I double recruit choice. Warrior. Cat seems strong. Hmm. These guys are coming here. Okay. But then I can't move them anymore, can I? No. You, yeah. have, a, you have a move. This is a setting up turn. And then mm. I'm going to battle here. Okay. Would you like to retreat? <laughs> Where are we battling? Here. Would His I like to retreat? No? Let me let me let oh. me think, think about it. <laughs> I've got six guys, right? So if I retreat I lose two. Yes. That's pretty bad. But also, having four guys here is pretty nice. Like four more guys here. So you, you know what? Yeah. No, I'll retreat. Okay. Okay. All right. Then I place a roost in a wild spot where I rule, which is here. Okay. Like that. Okay. And then uh, we move into evening. 
and I score four VPs. Hmm. Still not in the lead, but that's okay. All right. So also dangerously close. Yeah, I was having that feeling. I am not a threat. So at the beginning of my turn, I'm going to collect my conspiracies and then draw three for outrage. And then I got to find a way to... Uh, I had to find a way to both score points and reduce everybody else's ability to score points. There's a lot of responsibility considering uh, how very small I am. Hmm. So we need to move. First things first, we need to move. Okay. kind of need yeah okay no first things first we gotta move so i need to play a move bust a move I need to bust a move bust something else <laughs> like a leg bust Ooh, the, don't cla do that. the classic don't. saying bust a leg bust a leg <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> okay so so today i learned a saying uh so in in uh, the Netherlands, so in Dutch, instead of saying you have a hole in your pocket, they have a similar saying, but it's a hole in your hand. Oh. I was like, that's gross. That's messed up. <laughs> Jeez. It's fairly gross. It's just like as soon as you get the money, it falls out of your hand, but like, ugh. Don't picture it. It's not pleasant. No one's going to accept that money. I'm going to play Little Eyes and Ears at a cost of three mouse supporters. Okay. I oh, know wait, you have to to play a conspiracy, you have to play it. Well, I'm going to I need to spend three mouse supporters so we do that. Uh, so that gives me three points. This is bad. I'm in a bad place. So I'm going to grab all these guys and have them move to here. Okay. Mm. Do I want to leave one of them behind, actually? No, I'm fine. Moving all those guys to there. Then I'm going to discard... These cards are identical. I'm going to discard one of these fox cards. Generate a fox supporter. I'm going to pay two fox supporters for... Um, local recruitment my fox thing so that is place a warrior in the clearing with this hideout and then place a stronghold in any clearing you rule so I will place a fox supporter in this hideout and then a stronghold in a clearing that I rule and then Then I need another rabbit. Military operations. Hmm. I'm going to discard this to make a rabbit. Then I'm going to pay two rabbits to make my rabbit stronghold, or my rabbit hideout. I'm going to make this right here. Okay, buddy? Buddy? Also makes a rabbit warrior. Yeah. Any vacant slot in this clearing type. Right, friends? We got a common problem here? If you kill him, we're buddies. I'm trying. I need a rabbit. Okay, so then mm -hmm. I need to... This is a little awkward. Um... I need to visit friends. Let's okay. let's visit some friends. Yeah. So that costs zero supplies. It let's me move. So we move these four guys to here. Hmm. And then I'm gonna discard 
this card to make a rabbit supporter. And then I'm going to use that rabbit supporter to start a battle in a rabbit clearing. Oh. Let's rabbit rumble. Rabbit rumble. It's a bunny battle. It's a bunny battle. <laughs> would you like to retreat? No, but I would like to ambush you. You are a coward <gasps> of the highest order. That is not the clearing. That's card. that's correct. That's not how the game works. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I was pranking you. I'm still not That's retreating. Okay. I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure stopped. I have also not 100% played how the game works. I think I, uh, I think I probably conspiracied with not entirely matching supporters at some point. Listen, games is hard. Games is hard. Games is hard. Okay, fight me. Okay, all right. Well, okay. Uh, no, I said it. All right. Wait, did I? Okay. Well, so I don't you, know if I... That's a, yeah. that's a three and a one. So I deal three hits to you, you deal one hit to me. Goodbye, little rabbit. Yeah, that's fine. So sad. Okay, and then... I'm going to discard bird to make a rabbit supporter, and then I'm going to pay that rabbit supporter, and we're going to fight here again. Oh. Mm -hmm. Are you retreating? Will you flee? The question is, can you do that again? And I don't think you can. Do you have fleas? So do if I flee, fleas? Uh, my building should be safe. Hopefully. So I'll flee. Okay. I'll flee to <sighs> here. Okay. Goodness gracious. <laughs> what? That's a lot of cats. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to oh. discard this bird to make a rabbit supporter and Heck. then initiate a battle here and burn down both your buildings. Okay. And they just, and do they just go points. back? Yep, they just go back on your board. Okay, and I can rebuild them? Yep. All right. you, don't, you don't lose any points or anything, but it means the next time you build a recruiter, you get fewer points than you mm -hmm. otherwise would have. Yeah. Um, so I got two points for doing that. And then I'm going to craft some travel gear. Using my rabbit stronghold for two more VPs. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's the end of my turn. I will gain a supporter of each nation. All right. Go ahead. Okay. Um, I can build in a place if I control it, right? Yeah, places okay. you... Uh, I get three wood. It's a lot of wood. Oh boy, let's not do this again. I am commenting on the... This is a situation yeah, germane to the game state. Don't even... I refuse to take the blame for this. <laughs> Oh, that's a messy board. It's a lot so of I think I'm, I think I'm picking it up. I think the problem that I had here was I didn't pursue. I didn't get my first stronghold early enough. Like the the card draws are super important for Woodland Alliance. Yeah. Um, I think even more so than uh, than they were for the birds when I was playing the birds. Mm. So what do you got? I'm thinking. Sorry. How many cats are in this clearing? <laughs> I don't know a lot. Sorry, so let many, me. I can't even count. Let me make sure uh, it's less 12. ambiguous. It looks like twelve. Jesus! Please go away, kitties. Why would they even want to be there? It's a waterfall. <laughs> cats don't like waterfalls. We really Haven't like. Have you this seen one. that uh, that video of the cat in the sink? Yeah, it's cute. Or like a. That he, other cat. What was his name? He didn't seem to mind. It was what a video was we saw of a cat laying in a sink, as cats do. Oh, yeah, and I know what you're talking about. Sud suddenly became fascinated by the faucet and kept pawing at it until he turned it on. And then it's just pouring into the middle of his side, and he's bewildered, but fascinated. <laughs> what is this magic? And then at a certain point, what I think the sink starts now? filling up, so then he's like, I'm out of here. You can see he keeps looking at the up. water level and then like looking around. He's like, 
what do I what do I do? <laughs> well, Somebody help me. Can you imagine like if you go to work and you leave and then like right after your cat turns the water on and then just leaves it running all day? What a dick. Man. You're getting mad at <laughs> hypothetical cats now. I am. I don't I sound like a real cat hater, but I'm not. You do. I just Yeah, I was just thinking that. It, you know, it really depends on the cat. Some cats are great. But they all are covered in cat spit. <sighs> this is a true story. This game's hard. Why is this game hard? This is not fair. Yeah, yeah. I'm having a yeah, tough is it time tough to, stalling. Is it tough to be over there in the lead? <laughs> Oh, I'm not. I'm worried that like I'm gonna lose before I have a chance to win. <laughs> I well, also just, have that concern. You just have to try. All right. So you've built a recruiter. Yeah. Go ahead and take four. your take your VPs. In other news, my hair smells good. Shout outs to Lisa's hair. <laughs> cool. <sighs> so Shane's 11 points out. Yeah. Elise is currently 16 points out, but she's likely to score five points on her turn. Okay. Um, and I'm at 19. <laughs> so I've done one action. Yep. You did a build. I'm almost halfway. Very close to halfway. Now. Okay, alright, alright. Sorry, there's a, a lot to think about. I disagree. <laughs> I just want to give myself the best chance, alright? And, and as such, do not accept your apology. Uh, uh oh. Move. Uh, Bring it. Uh -oh. Bring it. Do we want to do Ooh. that? Maybe I just play very uh, passively. The card in my hand is Rabbit Ambush. I will mess you up. Now I want to fight. Just because you're a <laughs> lying bitch. <laughs> no, okay. Last time, I, last time I told you what a card in my hand was, Elise said, believe me. I said, I was <laughs> guessing it was right. I feel like this is a really silly play, I guess. How many how many layers of bluff is this? Is it a double? I'm gonna recruit. Triple? Okay. Quintuple, probably. <laughs> quintuple bluff? I've been yeah. known to quintuple bluff. I don't even know what the end result of the quintuple bl bluff is. Oh my god, it's so laggy. My favorite bluff is to um to say that a thing is true without knowing. <laughs> draw, yeah, a you card, do that a lot. draw a card, don't look at it, and then tell people what it is. <laughs> you do that a lot. Because you know, cause you know things... what? You can't give away whether or not you're lying if you don't know. Yeah, that's true. All right, shit, dude. Well, I'm going to recruit starts, again. Maybe. You're going to recruit again. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and oh, my then, goodness. And then for my next move, I'm going <laughs> to discard a bird card for another action and recruit again. What? Hmm. What is happening? He, he's making a lot of <laughs> birds. Cats. I'm assuming... Cats, yes. Go ahead. I'm assuming right. that your your stuff's probably not supposed to be component limited, given the fact that they gave you an infinite bag because yeah. they gave the birds a limited bag. Yeah, draw three. they they do know how to limit the things if they want to. What is happening over there? Okay, and now I need to discard down to hand size. So I'm gonna draw four, which is good. I really need cards. Okay, I have to discard down to hand size, but uh, it's gonna take me a sec. So. Okay. Don't mind me. Okay. I'll I'll try not to let it influence my decisions. What you guys do, but uh, I can't. No, I'm just kidding. I won't. I swear. I'm sorry. What? Like, <laughs> What's <I won't>. happening? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So for my bird song, I'm placing this. Okay. And what do we have going on over here? Nothing useful. Okay. So I'm going to process or resolve my decree. All right. So I will place, um, well, they're both wild, so I'll place a warrior there, and I'll 
Oh, another one. I'm nervous. Okay. And then I have to move at least one warrior from a clearing. Um... Here. Okay. And then I must battle. So I am going to battle here. I had a feeling that you were saving that cat until you needed it. <laughs> Would you like to retreat? Hey, SB, can I retreat? No. <laughs> I guess not, then. Okay, are you going to ambush? No. Okay, let's roll. I think for retreating, you do have to actually own... You have to rule an adjacent clearing. You oh, can't, okay. You can't ask for permission. I rolled a or... two. I rolled a two. Two. Oof. All right. Brutal. So the cats can only deal one hit because they only have one. No, you only lose yeah. one, yeah. The number of hits you can take from the die is limited by your, uh, keep your number forgetting of that. Okay, You can have additional then... hits added on later. I'm going to place a roost. Okay. As I must do. I'll place it here. Okay. And then I move into evening. So I'm going to score five points. Yep. This is uh this this is tough. This thing where I have to I have to stop everybody from winning is tough. I don't really have the resources for this. See how quick my turn is? Oh. Just trash talking you, Shane. No, you. Alright, so I get my hideout cards. Your turn back. well both of you at this point, but you your turns take forever. Okay, but my turns take forever because I'm actually doing like twenty things. Well, I think you should do fair. 20 things faster. I'm going to do 20 things to your face. Whoa. That's my favorite Ludacris song. Yeah. Hey, I'm going to remember to use my scouting party. Hey, Shane? No. How do I... Hey, Elise. Let me see what your card is. How do I show it to you without him seeing it? Um, hey, Shane, don't look. Okay. Okay, put your or card Or I guess there. I could put it in your hand. Well, you, yeah, you could. It's not necessary. Okay, that's good enough. I see it. <laughs> Don't do that. Take Let it. me know when I can look again. Okay, you can look again. Okay. okay. <laughs> Don't put stuff in my hand. What if I? What if? What if you got back a different card? Would you even know? Mm. No. Yeah. No. So, um, I have to score a lot of points this turn. That's important. Okay. <sighs> I had to catch up. The good news is, I actually have a lot of crafting buildings. Well, I have fox, fox, mouse, rabbit. It's tough, though, because my cards do so many things. Just do no things and pass mm -hmm. the turn is a possible solution to your problem? Yeah. Oh, that's do true. That. that is a possible solution. Hmm. I think I'm going to craft a sword. Okay. I have two fox strongholds, so I'll make this sword. It is worth four VPs because my crafting is so good. All right. Then um, do some more crafting. Probably. I didn't actually check to make sure I could. Hmm. <laughs> Yep, I'm going to craft travel gear with my rabbit stronghold. Yeah, here he wins. That's another two points. Yeah, I'm going to win from 25 now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to win from 25 with three of my crafting buildings exhausted. Yeah. Yeah. I might be able to catch up. That's where I'm looking. Like, there's, a, there's an outside chance I could catch up. I don't trust him. Ah, uh, me either. Let's kill him. How much wood do you have available? <laughs> There's four wood in that place, but no other wood. Okay, so you're going to have seven wood on your turn. Oh, dude, that's a lot of points. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that's really bad, actually. He has enough wood to win the game on his next turn. He doesn't have the crafting slots, though. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. So... 
there have to be enough of us in all of the clearings everywhere <laughs> to prevent him from gaining access to two I mean, crafting slots. That's great in theory. Very I don't I disagree. I think it's real bad in theory. <laughs> okay, well it's bad all around then. Sure is. Oh boy. Well, three cards and score two VP per card, so I could go. Ooh. Sorry, I'm doing math over here. So, wait, what did I. Hold on. I'm going to take these back over here just so that I can keep track of what buildings I've used. Okay. So, it's my mouse building that I haven't crafted with. Trying to figure out if there's a way for me to get out here. Because Elise, you can't win on your turn, right? Probably. Uh, I don't think so. You have to make 11. It's very unlikely. I mean, she says that. <laughs> it's pretty much impossible. You can't trust that. <laughs> Just trust me. I it's mean, impossible. I mean, I realize that if you let my turn go by without doing anything, I win the game. But don't trust the lease. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna bribe. I'm gonna bribe. Okay. I think I bribe in my. Fox hideout? My hideouts are all kind of in bad places. Yeah, I bribe in my fox hideout. So I get to discard up to three cards and score points equal to twice the number of cards I discard. So I'm going to discard this guy. You have a lot of cards to discard. I do. I do, and I need them all so badly. And this guy and this guy. So I'm going to discard three cards and get six points. Up to 31. Check it out, I'm in the lead! <laughs> oh yeah, big surprise. Unfortunately, I, uh, I cannot generate nine more points this turn. <laughs> but I wasn't going to be able to play all my cards in a useful way, <laughs> so the, the bribe turns out to be a pretty good use of them. Mm. Well? Hmm. No, that doesn't work. This is a neat card. Um, and if I was playing better, I'm sure I could have made cool stuff out of it. Oh, I have to I have to pay the supporter cost for that. To pay Fox. You have to not cheat. I have to not cheat every once in a while. It's not, it's not going to be all the time. Don't get used to it. Look, you cheated <laughs> and you still didn't even win. Yep. And then I have to generate you just don't a win. bunch of warriors. That's not true. And winners don't I, do drugs. I'm pretty sure I cheated like a million times this game. What? I definitely have um, played incorrectly in I a don't, couple of places. I don't actually know. I'm not sure. Hmm. So train, train makes them in that type of clearing. So I need to discard this card to make a rabbit. Okay. No, wait, wait, wait. Nope. Okay. Nope. Changed my mind. I need to discard th this card to make a fox. Uh, and then I need to discard okay. this card uh, to do a train to make that fox into a warrior. Okay. And then uh, I need to discard another... F I, I need to do it again, or... Yeah. I need to discard this card to make a fox. Wait, wait, wait. Adding a second warrior doesn't actually help me because of how hidden works. Two two warriors in a place is not better for defense than one warrior. It's just that I, I need to get to a third warrior before I see an improvement, mm -hmm. which I can't do. Hmm. 
So then I pay my, I dis I do discard this guy for a rabbit. And then I use my two rabbits to play a conspiracy. Ooh. Okay. And the conspiracy I play will be Woodland Trap. <gasps> which allows, I can inflict two hits and then discard this card. Yelch. Wait. You know what? I'm thinking that this works like the trap text, but actually I'm not sure. Because when you play a card... You know what this probably does? Is it inflicts two tra two hits where the where the hideout is and then gets discarded immediately. So actually, I shouldn't do that because it doesn't do anything. Mm -hmm. I think, I guess what I will do is just do all the stuff I just did and then pass the turn. Okay. Because okay. I can't, I can't make it any further. So good luck to us. Yep. Here's my uh, so supporters. This is my turn. It is your turn. Have you got us? Yep. I think, you I, I think so, us. yeah. I just... Uh... Well, I mean, I guess you can't know, right? Because it, it's die roll reliant. No, why? Because you can't build twice? You don't, you don't have any building slots. No, yeah, I do. You, you have to go somewhere and kill I'm, someone else. I move here. And yeah, then there's... I control it. I just move enough oh, dudes right, there yeah, and I control right. it. Oh, that's right. That's right. It doesn't have to be empty. You just have to yeah. own it. That's right. I'm going to move yeah. once. I'm going to move all these. Yep. Let me just, uh, I need to show my dominance. Do you? Yeah. And then for my second move, wow. I'll, uh, you know, like, that's my first move, which was one. Yep. Was, and then yep. the second half, the action. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to build twice. Okay. And it's oh, boy. Five VP and then seven VP. Yep. And that'll be all my wood. Over, over Good here. Good job. Cats are over yep. here. Cats are pretty okay. Uh, I think all the all the factions. Well, sorry, all the factions. I think these two factions seem very strong. This one, I'm. I think I was kind of getting the hang of it at the end there. I was actually a turn off. I would have won yeah. on my next turn. Yeah. So I. It seems like a game. I felt. I felt weak, but actually, it was a pretty close game. Yeah, and I think it snowballs. Like I think these two yeah. factions are really strong at the beginning, which ends up with them fighting each other a lot, and then you kind of yeah. get powerful in the meantime. Yeah, by the by the point in the game where I was starting my turns with like seven or eight cards in, my, in hand, I definitely had a lot of options and was able to do cool stuff. I think um, failing to get my income online early was really, really bad. I think I need to make myself less of a target. It's hard yeah. as birds, yeah. it seems. Yeah, it's tough because like with the, uh, with the woodland guys and with the cat, you can store up resources and have a turn where you get 15 points. Yeah. Yeah. But with the birds, you're not really in control of your scoring. The points come down how they come down. And if you want to have a seven-point turn, you have to have a six-point turn before that. I actually yeah. think maybe what and you... I made a dumb mistake. I think, you may, like, I think it may be best to just be really aggressive and attack other yeah. people really hard. Actually, I guess that's not totally true, right? Because you could, as birds, you could store up cards and then swap to builder and do a couple of crafts. Oh, or, or maybe like... I mean, you could also just, you know put two cards on on this and all of a sudden go from like gaining i don't know gaining six to gaining eight isn't that big i guess See, yeah the yeah. interesting thing is every time i lay down a card i'm adding risk yeah yeah your your turn gets more likely to fail in some way yeah it's an interesting tension yeah i think the i think the design of this faction is really cool yes, i agree yeah. it's really good yeah if you oh. had if you had managed to craft a little bit more um where are your incomes? Are they? I only have well. Okay, so they're at four and six. I have not gotten to get up to two at any time. Like I would get there. <laughs> yeah, you kept putting down that roost and then having it destroyed. And then having it destroyed. Yeah. So I never, I haven't gotten to draw two for income at all yet. We got to draw two on this uh, last turn, right? Uh no. No. Sure looks like you have two income. No, because I played the roost. At... Oh, that's right. Yeah, you played the roost and then yeah. you would have gotten two, except the turn came ended during yeah. this turn. Yeah. This well, would have been the first that's time. That's close. That's close to you drawing two. <laughs> yeah. I considered um I considered trying to take the military victory 
and just I was trying to like negotiate a path from here through to there. But I was concerned that I had to play it during right. It's uh, you win the yeah. game if you control the keep during yeah, bird songs. Move I had to play it during my during my daytime, and then you have three recruiters adjacent to the keep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so if you just go like recruit, recruit, move to move two of them in, and then play a bird, move to move the other one in. Yeah. Um, it would be very difficult for me to still rule the keep during my turn, or at yeah. the beginning of my turn. Hmm. I actually. Yeah, I uh... think. Well, I was actually trying to lend the the second to last turn. I I thought I had enough wood, but then I realized I had spent some earlier and I didn't have enough. Mm. Um, but actually, I think if I had enough wood, you destroying my two recruiters here would have been the reason I won, because I would have been able to spend less. Or because yeah. actually, because I I was at four, right? And if I mm. had the wood, I would have actually won just from crafting those three. But I didn't have enough wood. I was actually concerned that I'd run out of things to build and you kind of destroying my stuff actually helped a little bit, mm. which is yeah. kind of counterintuitive. Um, like the fact that you don't lose VPs or anything when your buildings get destroyed makes it kind of weird. Yeah. But uh, I would yeah. much rather have destroyed sawmills if I could reach any. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of why I put them in such protected places like this one. The, the, I, the reason I recruited twice last turn was so that I had such a huge army here that you basically, there is no way you would destroy the sawmill. And there was literally like no way for you to get to this one or this one. I think, I think the turn when you placed this sawmill, I think Elise could have gotten. Yeah, definitely. Gotten to it if, she had, if she'd gone aggressive that turn. Yeah, that's what I mean. I think like I played pretty aggressively. Because no. I think cool. I I actually kind of feel like I should have played more aggressively. I feel like playing re really aggressively in this game is really strong, and that's what the birds have I to think, do. I think the yeah I think the cat has to play really aggressively because if you sit back, the birds will just like build roosts in yeah. these places and then win. So you have yeah. to, as the cat, you have to get in their face. But I'll then, try to be more aggressive next time. Yeah, <clears throat> well, and like the game rewards aggressiveness so much. Mm -hmm. It wants that's you. That's always fight. hard for me. Yeah, I guess I, I like fighting, so... Yeah, I don't know. I always feel like right fighting is a risk, so I always shy away from it. Yeah, that's I think what makes because it exciting. I don't want to lose. <laughs> well, with the, uh, right, with the way the attack rolls work in this game, the attacker can't lose. Yeah. The worst no, case I mean, scenario is that the attacker gets hit as hard. I don't think it's rational. I think that's just oh, okay. what I automatically do, because that's why fighting's out of my comfort zone, generally, because... I always feel like it's safer just not to take the risk, but yeah. it's not a rational explanation for I think, my behavior. I think you're right. Like, no, I, I like, I actually kind of agree that like it's more dangerous to fight than it isn't. But like, I guess in my head sometimes I'm like, if I fight and I do well, I know I'm gonna win, and if I fail, yeah. I know I'm gonna lose, and then I can like, I don't have to wait till the end of the game to know the outcome. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> which is yeah. which is a kind of resolution a silly... of suspense. But uh, hmm. I don't know. And also people, you tend to not be able to deal with hyper aggression. Like when you play games yeah. like these, people want to be really cooperative and be like friendly. So when you just yeah. like get in there and kill a bunch of their stuff, they get really like freaked out. Yeah. Huh. Well, good job, Shane. Thanks. Yeah, well done. I mean, you guys were both about to win the next turn if I didn't win there pretty much. So. Well, he was certain. And you were, cl you were close. I mean, if you didn't win next turn, you'd win the turn after. You know, yeah. so that was a close game. Yeah. That was fun. So we didn't get to show off the Vagabond here. I'm looking at the uh, the board. The Vagabond's kind of a weird uh, character because only, there's only one Vagabond figure. This this is the one you play with. This is the scoring marker. And you move around the table and you, like, accumulate items. And you have faction with all of the other players. You have, you start it indifferent with the other three players. And then you uh, you can give them cards to improve your your faction and every time you do that you get victory points and you can also fight them to get more hostile with them and every time you do that you get victory points and when you're allied with them you can move around through their territory easily uh the vagabond never has to ask permission but it costs him extra moves to move into territory that's owned by people that are hostile to him and you get you get all of your points by interacting with the other players by killing their figures or by giving them stuff and then all of the um, 
people probably noticed the crafting cards all have little uh, little white squares on them with items in them. When you're playing with the Vagabond, every time you do a craft, in addition to the points you score, you make a good. And then the Vagabond can buy those goods from you by giving you cards. It's pretty neat. We'll have to try them out. So it's sort of like uh, the three of us are playing a kind of like a dudes on a map war game. And if there's a Vagabond, he's playing, like, Mage Knight. He's running around and accumulating items and doing quests and stuff. It seems really neat. <laughs> yeah, that is cool. But oh, because of the fun. nature of the character, he can really only be the fourth player. Yeah. I like how, oh. uh... I just, I, I especially like, I mean, how different all the, char- all the like, the, you know, characters yeah. are. But also, like, how it makes sense, like... From a lore perspective, I always really appreciate that. Or from a flavor perspective. Yeah. And, like, even the way it plays out, like, you've got the two big factions fighting for power, and then the one faction slowly building up in the background, you know? Mm-hmm. And that's just really cool. Yeah. It's a nice interaction of flavor and mechanics. Yeah, I think um, Vast had a lot of that, too. Vast is a really cool game, I think. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we'll play that sometime. Yeah, yeah. Might be down. Yeah. Well. So I think that's, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for us for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, um, Root is up on Kickstarter for six more days. If you are interested, it's not terribly expensive. I think it's like $60 to back at the level that gets you a copy of the game and also the expansion. Um, Mm -hmm. And I think it's cool. This is a thumbs up seal of approval kind of thing here. Yep. So thank you for watching, everyone. Yep. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.